from. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I set up my GoPro camera and microphone setup to get nice lap time videos. So I'm at, currently at New Jersey Motorsports uh, track Thunderbolt for a DE event, having a great time. Just set up the GoPro to do some lap time recordings. So first of all, coming in the car, um, I have a little uh, thing over here. So I have a RAM mount, which I put right here. I put my phone on that. That gives me kind of like a live lap time review to be able to see how I'm doing and how my lap times are looking at. Um, otherwise, nothing much in for the interior. I don't like to put cameras. Sometimes I put a camera up here on the front windshield if you want like a nicer view of your line because this allows you to like really see how well you're hitting the apexes or how, how well you're using the track out. Um, and then, so my GoPro camera, I mounted on a Brer Krause row bar right in the center. Um, it's a good thing to test out the, the view of the camera. Try to keep it at eye level with the driver because then it gives you kind of a real time personal view of what I'm seeing on the track. Because if it's too high, um, then, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna cut out a lot of view. If it's too low, you can't see much. So you wanna be right in the middle, right at eye level with your helmet. Um, and let me just come outside here, open the trunk. So this is kind of how I do my video setup. So it's always good to have, I use the GoPro uh, roll bar clamp. And I have my external audio cable right here. And, and I also have my USB-C charger. It's good to have it charging the camera during your video time because it does drain pretty quickly. So I like to set that up for continuous charging. I do kind of duct tape it to the roll bar so it doesn't move around much. Um, this is where I have my uh, GPS sensor. This is actually really important because the one on the iPhone is not that great. So you wanna look, hook this up to your um, iPhone via uh, Bluetooth, and then you can have Harry's lap timer running with much better accurate lap times. Almost as good as the AIM Solo, which are $500. Right now I'm just charging it. So I run my little audio table. The best place to put it is right at the rear bumper. No wind noise, and you have the, the sound of the exhaust. So it kind of runs down here. And then there you go. So I kind of have it mounted to the uh, license plate. I use one of the license plate bolts and put in like a clamp right there so I can kind of lock it in. And this is a Rode microphone. I can show you in the comments which exact brand I got. And it gets a perfect um, exhaust note. The one thing about this camera view is that you, uh, this, uh, I mean, microphone, you need to have a pretty high quality microphone because if you use kind of a cheaper one, it, it picks up a lot of static noise, which is actually just the exhaust when you're like off the throttle, it kind of makes a staticky wind noise kind of appearance so it doesn't, sound great and then basically all together with the car off kind of what it looks like from the rear end so so that's kind of how i do my gopro videos good luck